Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I find I don't oh, I don't even know why I was talking like that. That's not even who I am. <clears throat> Retake. What's up everybody? This is Africa G and welcome to my channel. So today I'm gonna be answering 15 questions that a lot of you asked me. So I kind of put like several questions in one to make it like you know easier for me and so someone asked if my name is really africa and why my parents would name me that so yes my real name is africa africa chow is like my actual real name the reason why is they really wanted me to have a name that like stood out that like you know like nobody was gonna have they really wanted to focus on making it unique or i should say my mom because she's the one who like named me i used to kind of get bullied like because my name was africa and now it's just like you can't bully me it's lit i love my name can't nobody make me feel bad about my name it is who i am someone asked the second question why are you born and raised so i was born in mexico mi lindo mexico querido but i was actually in the united states since i was six months so i'm really from la like i was born in mexico but when anyone asks me where are you from I say I'm from Barbie Squad, bitch. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> I'm so dumb. You guys have to like catch on to me because sometimes I'd be fucking around. Who raised you? The reason I wanted to answer this question is because I was in the foster care system and luckily my auntie became my legal guardian when I was 15. But prior to 15, my mom raised me as a single mom, but my dad was like a weekend dad. But I love my dad. I was a daddy's girl. So I have a great relationship with both my parents now. How do you lift maintain your blonde? So I will let you guys know if you guys want to go blonde, you guys have to be very patient. Like I'll get up and I'll show you guys for you guys. These are actually K-tip extensions. Um, it's my first time doing them. So I, don't ask me no questions about K-tips yet. But if you guys do want to go blonde, I have to tell you guys that you guys have to be patient. And it does matter who you go with. I went with a very famous, amazing, sweet, humble hairstylist. She goes by Hair by Maribel. Right now it's like toned, but when I wash it, it'll get like a little icier. And um, that's the lightest I could go with um, not damaging my hair. So a lot of you guys asked me what uh, my major was or if I had a education and if I went to college, if I even graduated high school. I graduated high school with a 4.3 GPA. I went to a community college, Santa Ana College, and then I went to Cal State Long Beach and at 21 received my bachelor's in business, hospitality, and management. I did pursue major in business but i kind of wish i would have done it communication studies because that's what i'm passionate about i love talking like that's my thing and i love motivating people that's something that i can do naturally it's like something gets in me and then it like talks i do wish i would have done communication studies but i'm happy with business i do plan to do things in business the next question is do you still smoke while working out and do you recommend it i smoke once a month once every two months maybe three times in one month but not consistently i used to smoke a lot of weed i wish I wouldn't have because I feel like personally I would have gotten a lot more done <sighs> excuse me I only smoke when I have anxiety sometimes I do not recommend it because I did read an article that said that smoking weed actually stunts the growth of your muscles now is this true I never did my research on it but if you want to learn about it then you should I stopped smoking because fitness and smoking weed I don't think they go. What was your first job? Yeah, my first job was as a bud tender at a dispensary, but that didn't last long. I think I did it for like three, four months. And then my first job was as a host at IHOP and I hated it. I would see people from high school going and eating there with their families and stuff. I'll tell you why I was embarrassed. Not because of the position I was in, because I became a host for like a week and then a server. I was embarrassed because they would make, they would be so strict with the uniform and you literally had to wear your hair like this. I see. And then you couldn't get your nails done. So I had like boy nails. You had to wear like a long blue apron. I hated working there, but it's okay because it taught me discipline and I was independent. Um, 
because I got kicked out at 18 and I had to figure things out on my own. The best advice to gain weight. The best advice I can give you to gain weight is for sure drink protein shakes. And you have to wake up early to do it. Like for example, I'll wake up and my breakfast is my protein shake. Like I will brush my teeth, wash my face and do my protein shake. And then um, it's like a 2,000, like 1,500 to 2,000 calorie uh, protein shake. So um, it's very dense, you know, and that has helped me gain weight. And I vouch to protein shakes because I could not have gained weight if it weren't for protein shakes. Were you ever insecure about your body and how to overcome it? I think everyone as a woman and men and in between get insecure about their bodies, their face, their hair, whatever it is. We all have insecurities. Like, and you know what? Like, I'll be specific in one thing. For example, I was very insecure about having stretch marks. I was like, I cannot wear a bathing suit in the beach because there's these girls and you see in TV and magazines, these perfect bodies and all this stuff. But like, really, like, the human body is beautiful. And the way I see it is, yes, I had insecurities. I overcame it by just kind of like, I think the older you get, or at least this happened for me, the older you get, the more you realize that we're all the same, really. Like, yeah, we have our own personalities and our own souls and spirits, but physically, like, we're all the same. Like, it's, we come in different shapes, sizes, and all that stuff, but at the end of the day, like, what are stretch marks gonna do? We all have flaws. And who said that they were flaws? Like, who said that that was wrong? Like, who said stretch marks were a bad thing to have? I love my stretch marks. You know, I overcame my insecurities kind of just like by loving myself. Once I started loving myself is really how I overcame insecurities. Favorite motivational quote, I have two. One is discipline is a form of self love. And that is so true. When you learn to discipline yourself, when you learn to do things out of the norm, out of your comfort zone, things you've been wanting to do, you start like, like you start realizing that that's the best form and the biggest form of self-love. You know, for example, someone wants to gain weight, but they don't eat. But then they start making that effort, that discipline of I'm gonna wake up at this time and gonna make my protein shake. Before I go to bed, I'm gonna drink my protein shake. I'm gonna make sure I eat and not give up so easily, continue eating. Or for people that wanna lose weight, you know what? I'm gonna stop eating fried foods that are not good for my body, that are not good for my self-esteem. And you know, like discipline is a form of self-love. I love that quote. Another quote is, quotes are easy, execution is hard. That is very true. We all have screenshots of like quotes and stuff in our phone, but to actually execute them is a different story. But there's nothing impossible that we can't do because if somebody else could do it, then that means it's possible. Then that means there's a way. A lot of you asked, um, why I went to jail, why was I locked up, why am I on probation? I wanna start off by saying that we are all human and we all make mistakes at different levels, you know? And um, it shouldn't be looked down upon. The reason I went to jail, I legally can't get into full detail about it, but I will say it was a weed charge. Like it had to do with marijuana. And that's another reason why I kind of stopped you know smoking and all that stuff because it wasn't doing anything good for my life you know for other people it might you know but for me personally it did nothing good for my life the only reason like i said i will smoke rarely like here and there um is because sometimes i'll get anxiety and smoking will calm me down um but that's not an excuse there's other ways of coping with anxiety that don't involve drugs so i'm not preaching it if you have anxiety i would say i suggest just look for other alternatives like i said i'm human i'm not perfect i don't have all the answers but that's what i would say how do you stay committed on a busy schedule so i used to work three jobs and went to school full time and i still fit in working out and actually that was my biggest transformation in those first like three to six months was my biggest transformation and there is no excuse for someone to fit in fitness in their schedule my time had to be very strategic very organized it's not impossible you know you don't need easy you just need possible 
and then you'll find a way to do it you just have to want it so bad better than you want to party better than you want to sleep better than you want to go out with your friends like you sacrifice you structure you prioritize my next question is something i struggle with daily like i said nobody's perfect we all need something to work on and something i need to work on personally or i struggle with is waking up early i wake up like around nine or ten but I want to wake up like at 6 or 7, get my day started, be ahead of everyone. Because I know a lot of successful people that say that's key. Waking up early, getting more through with the day. I have been wanting to answer this question so bad. Is your ass fake? <laughs> what do you guys think? No, I'm just kidding. Um, I'm going to tell you guys something. I would never in my life get my ass done. I would not like it's not something i would ever do another question is have you ever thought of plastic surgery yes i have and i'm not against anybody who has any work done whatsoever but in my mind i'm not gonna spend for me i'm speaking for myself i can't speak for anybody else but my damn self i'm not gonna spend fifteen thousand, even if i can easily pay for it i'm not gonna pay fifteen thousand for something i can work on like personally I can't work on my titties to grow. I can't, you know, whether it's like f fat transfer that they do now or um, other things like I've, I've heard about pills you take, like you can't grow your titties. So I got my titties done. I need to think about it thoroughly and be like, okay, do I want this done? Do I want that done? I think just like, you know, when you look at Instagram too long, you start comparing yourself to other girls, which is very normal, but very wrong for us to do and we start wanting everything all right done we want a whole new face a whole new body but you know like working out has really changed my mindset i go everywhere <laughs> get used to this i'm everywhere i'm in everything but no really um i don't have a fake ass i don't have a bbl i've never gotten ass shots no ass implants it's all natural i worked so hard for it i want to let everybody know before you spend that money anywhere from like five to $20,000 on a BBL, work for it. It feels so good. And it doesn't just physically change you and mentally, spiritually, emotionally, everything. It changes you as, like you're a whole new person. I am not against plastic surgery. I'm just like, girl, save yourself some money, work for it. In three months, you'll see a difference. In six months, you'll see an even bigger difference. In one year, it's like, whoa, you know? I don't get the easy route in life because nothing in life is easy. There's beauty in the struggle, so you might as well work out, become physically strong, mentally strong, knowing that you earned it and you know, um, yeah, so that's what I think. So I hope I answered a lot of your questions. I try to incorporate as much and talk as much as I could. No, I really didn't try. I just really talk a lot. That's who I am, but it's okay. I used to get in trouble for always talking so much in school. So all my teachers was good. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, so like I said, guys, thank you for tuning in. It's my first video. If you're a female, if you're a badass woman, if you're a powerful woman, like, share, subscribe. Peace out, y'all.